Hey, Ming. Hello, sir. Great to have you. Thank you, thank you. Right, let's begin. You can smell that. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Oh, little slice of France. In Singapore. Mm, yes, yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Julien Royer. I'm the chef and owner of Odette Restaurant, right here in the National Gallery in Singapore. Uh, we are a three Michelin star contemporary French restaurant, and I'm very happy to be seated with Ming this morning. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ming. I'm a food consultant chef, and today I'm a host as well. Julien, thank you so much for having us. It's a pleasure. I hear you are going to bring us on some sort of tour for food today, right? Yeah, so it's going to be a little Tour de France and beyond that as well. So this is rediscovering Singapore and seeing it through your eyes. Exactly. So we're going to meet uh, Morgan from La Petite Boutique. Okay. And we're going to see what she has to let us try. Sure. Bonjour. Bonjour. Good morning, Morgan. Oh, How are you? Morning. Super. I'm Morgan Foucault. I'm the owner of uh, La Petite Boutique. We are a gourmet stall located here uh, in uh, what we call the Little Friends. It's in Serangoon Garden. It's close to the French school. Look at those cheese. Wow. <sighs> so you have a range a good of goat's cheese, man. Ooh. How yeah, many cheeses do you have? We have between 70 and 90 different types of cheeses. Wow. That's some crazy. here, some, some over there as well, some hard times. So this is a specialist shop selling produce from France? Yes, yes. I, I would say we have about 90% 90, 90 of our products are from France. Does this remind you of home? Just the smell when you enter the boutique. You, you know when you enter a small shop in, in France and you have all these cheeses. These shops are not common in Singapore. No. And this is in the middle of Serangoon Gardens, which is like a late night supper haunt, a yeah. few restaurants. So here we have a, 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 little, a little selection of, uh, of what we have, mostly products from Auvergne. Thank you! <laughs> Starting my day with a piece of foam d'ambert and a piece of saint nectaire remind me, you know, the breakfast of my granddad. I feel like home today. Yeah. I love it, I love it. And... Off we go to eat some more. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jonathan, chef owner of Voyage Restaurant. Over here at Voyage, we serve uh, Provencal cuisine in the heart of Tiong Bahru. Beautiful souffle. Yes. Wow. Look at this, fluffy and light. Beautiful. Look at that. I call this the the woogity. I think Singapore's like this sort of multi flavor, you know? Yeah. Um, cereal based, uh, roasty, not say sweet, but rich in the mouth. Such a light flavor of corn, very nice. A good crispy pastry with apple and brown sugar. The smell of the of the cassonade and this baked apple. It's something simple that remind me childhood memories. Wow, that was good, man. Huh? Yeah, that was very Jonathan tasty. Always cooking some uh, really lovely French food. Classic pastry, very nice. Yeah. Now we're gonna go for some more food. Okay. Into Baroque. Baroque. Baroque is a uh, chef Stéphane Estelle cooking a feast there. Very rustic Alsatian regional food. And it's lovely, you will see. Oh, it's gonna be a big meal. So, from. Uh... Ah, Stéphane Estelle, hey, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> chef, good to you? see you. Hello, I'm Stéphanie Stel, chef owner of Baroque Grill. So at Baroque Grill, we drink all the rustic food from France. We drink everything from scratch, the dry sausage, the chorizo, the pâté en croûte, so everything is really made from scratch. Voilà. Wow! This is the choucroute. That's one of my favorite dish from Alsace, of course. So as you can see, you have some knack sausage, some smoked Montbéliard, the pork belly, which everything is smoked in-house. 
and processing house. I really hope that you're going to enjoy. I mean, as you see, it's a small plateur. A small plate. I think for this two, is for one person, okay. right? Let's dig yes, for one person, for one yes. person. <laughs> I'll let you enjoy the choucroute and let me know what you think about. Thank you very much. Are you very surprised you can find this kind of regional, high quality food here? Well, yes, because, uh, you know, as I said, in France, it's not very easy to find a good choucroute or a good tart to flambe. And you come at Baroque and you have it, so we are fortunate. In the middle of uh, Tanjong Baga, right? Exactly. Cheers. Ooh, Amazing to have you today at Baroque. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We cannot do a food tour in Singapore without going in one of the many great hawker centers. All right, Maxwell Hawker Center, man. Yeah, I love it here. So much life. Amazing. So why are we here again? Well, I'm going to pick your favorite, and I'm going to pick my favorite. Okay, okay, okay. So this is just fried fish slices with a little bit of milk and a nice broth. A little bit of vegetable. I don't usually have this with noodles or rice. I like it as this. Okay. Yeah, nice and savory. Never try this one. Oh, you gotta try it. For Singaporeans, this is an everyday meal. You just have this every day. I don't think we quite realize just how special it is to have so much food that's affordable packed into a small place. That's the thing, you know. When you are uh, in Europe, in most cities, to find very good food that is affordable, it's almost impossible mission. And here, the variety of food you have for three, four, five dollars, it's amazing. So after that, I'm gonna bring you somewhere where there is somebody really particular about the technique of cooking as well, but even more crazy about his sourcing, produce and ingredients. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's called the Naked Fin. <laughs> Ken, Uncle Ken. Yes. Uncle Ken and his seafood. Uncle Ken. <laughs> the Naked Fin is a seafood restaurant that was started about nine years ago. Our main pursuit for the longest time has been simplicity taking the seafood and cooking it as simple as possible without much interference to it. My favourite. Baby squid. In fact, it, it was the first, first product that we put on the cast iron grill. Cooked very simply uh, with gripseed oil on cast iron. We slightly overcook it so that the tentacles are charred. Yeah. There's no seasoning, no salt. This is same gare. It's a flat fish from uh, Hokkaido. So on the top, the skin is rough. The roll of the fish has been made into like a potaga. Oh. And then after we finish grilling, we shape it on top. The reason I love it here is because no matter what kind of cooking you do, no matter what kind of cuisine you do, it all starts with you know the passion of for an ingredients or for produce. And no good produce, no good ingredients, no good food. I always enjoy my meals here. Very flavorful. Thank you. Very, very flavorful. I'd say I was really excited to rediscover Singapore through your eyes, you know, from your perspective. Thank all the you. things that make you fall in love with Singapore. Yeah. That food, man. The diversity we have in Singapore without having to leave the country, it's truly amazing and unique. And all those tasty places, we will go back again and enjoy and eat even more. For sure. <laughs>